<coughs> Alright guys, just a quick little tutorial on a DIY um, stinger hook, uh, reusable, adjustable type setup here. Um, what you do is you get some AFW sleeves. These are black. Uh, number zero works exceptionally well with 30 pound Power Pro braid or 8 and 10 pound P-Line CXX. <coughs> The 12 works good in the number one size. Uh, they're relatively inexpensive. You can get them for, I don't know, three or four bucks or something for a pack of 30, I believe it is. Um, the jig is pretty straightforward. You take a nail and uh, nail it through, whatever, so one by one and a half or whatever. And then took some brass nails and just measured out different lengths that I thought would be convenient an uh, inch and a half, two inch, two and a half, and three. <coughs> Two and two and a half seem to be the most useful. But uh, anyways, we have a polymer knot with some braid already tied to a treble. That's pretty straightforward. Everybody knows how to tie a polymer knot, and if they don't, they need to learn because it is a thousand times better than the Berkeley trialing knot, which I used to use. So all we're doing is taking. through these shaded glasses and putting our sleeve on once and then basically making a loop going around and going back through the sleeve. Okay. This is about the most difficult whole part of the process. And that's it, right? So now all you got to do is figure out what size you want. Let's do a two and a half inch, and just pull your tag end, cinch it up, get it nice and tight. I straighten out a jig head and kind of sand it off the uh, barb here to make a nice little knot tool or a finishing knot, which is basically just an overhand or any knot. Pretty, pretty simple stuff. Just wrap that around and through. And then what you do is you go right up to the back side of your sleeve, pinch it down, and then that gets that knot right there in a consistent spot. Um, lately, I have been doing a double knot just to make sure that it doesn't slip on us. And you don't lose a fish because that's the worst thing to do. So there we have our stopper knot, uh, and our we're done. That's it. It's pretty straightforward. Pretty easy. Pretty inexpensive. A lot cheaper than buying the pre-made ones, which are you know what a buck, buck and a half a piece or something like that. So, the cool thing about this is now it's, it's adjustable removable. So, let's say we we're using this um, on a drop shot rig. We put our plastic on and then you got about that much hook exposed, right? So, your trailer would just slip right on. You cinch it down and, I mean, ain't going nowhere. Um, you have a very strong connection there. It's not going to go past the barb. It's not coming off. Um, and of whatever length you desire and whatever line strength or you know if you want to go with a P line that works too um, yeah and let's say you wanted to change your plastic out or change lures right you move your plastic around you just pull that sleeve back and then go back to your different lure go back to your different hook cinch it back down and you're good to go again it's it's a real simple let's just pull it off boom go back to this hook, whatever. Um, really cool little setup. Um, works exceptionally well. Um, will definitely help to increase your fish that make it to the boat, uh, without a doubt. And uh, do it on the cheap, too. So, anyways, uh, this is the uh, adjustable, reusable stinger hook. Also not adjustable, it's reusable, but uh, you guys can adjust it to whatever size you need. And make a, a dozen of them for the price of a couple of on-the-shelf ones, and they'll probably honestly work better. So, 
Alright. See you on the water.